Tables have now joined the chart family, so you can access them just like other charts in the drag and drop chart builder. When you're ready to create a chart, you can add one by clicking the chart button here or using the shortcut tab button here. New charts default to a table, but you can change this at any point by clicking the chart type drop down here. If you want to display all your fields, use this shortcut to instantly add your entire field set to the table or drag and drop the fields you want. You can drag your pills to rearrange your columns. If you want to change the order of the data, you can apply a quick sort in the toolbar or select a specific column and apply the sort directly by accessing the column headers context menu. To filter the data in a particular column, drag a pill onto the filter card or click filter from the context menu. Depending on the data type of the field, you'll be prompted to choose what type of filter you want to apply. Afterwards, you can adjust your filter and apply the updates when ready. The toolbar offers a number of styling shortcuts that can be applied to any column. After you've selected a column, you can adjust the text alignment of its rows, choose from a list of available presets, or adjust the decimal places for numeric columns. If your column contains URLs, use the URL preset to treat each cell as a link. To customize the formatting further, you can click the More Formats button here, or the option here. From here, you can select from more advanced date formats, customize your currency type, or update your link styling. In addition to formatting your columns, you can also apply stylistic updates to the table itself. You can use the formatting tab to adjust zebra striping, turn on or off horizontal and vertical dividers, and hide or show the row numbers. Don't table these updates for later. Try it out for yourself today.